Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. Two weeks ago, I decided to mow, and when I did, uh, I had something bad happen. For some reason, I was uh, smelling smoke. So here it is, the new battery. I'm going to try to put a lip right here, weld on a piece of angle iron. Hopefully from the bottom side, maybe two pieces, one here and one here. I don't want to do a whole thing. Uh, that way water can't necessarily collect in there. But just put a piece here and a piece here. And we'll clamp it on and see if we can do it. It's got to be small enough that we can lift the battery out with no problem. Uh, but tall enough that it won't vibrate over the top. And I thought what was happening was uh, somebody had a bad barbecue. Well, what was barbecuing bad was me. And uh, I got back to my shed over here. There was this black cotton candy looking stuff all over the place. What had happened was the bracket that held the battery in place, the screw had vibrated out. Excuse me, not the screw, but the wing nut. And that caused the bracket to come from off from the battery. The battery fell and slid onto the belts. Hey Angel. I think welding this makes it an extremely easy fix rather than doing anything else with it. Obviously the original way wasn't a permanent solution. I think this will be.
that was not welded on very well. I'll have to re-weld that bracket on. While I was working on this battery, I found something that there's a, a miss here, and that is the positive side is on the right. On my previous battery, the positive was on the left. I ended up taking that battery back, the one that you see here, because the cables weren't long enough. I could have bought extenders, but I chose not to. And I think I made the right choice on that. It's too bad that uh, I just didn't get the right one to begin with. Okay. And now it can't go anywhere. And it's actually going to be easier to take in and out. Okay. Here I am spraying on some Rust-Oleum black paint to help protect it down here on top and underneath. I don't know if it'll do that much, but hopefully it protects it for a long time. We keep the mower in the shed most of the time. It's another good reason to have a welder on hand. Something like this can make your day much easier when, you're, when you can't find parts or just to fix something. Keep in mind that if you are changing the battery on your mower, whether it is a zero turn or a standard rider, check out and make sure that your terminals are on the right side. The, I should say the correct side that your red is the same as your previous battery. When I went to Napa, they sold both. You can get the red on the left or on the right. So make sure that you be careful before you uh, come home with the battery. Otherwise, you've got a 50% chance that you're gonna be going back to the store. Hello everybody, uh, I'm back. We just mowed the yard <clears throat> after this happened to the last battery. You can see that. And turned out pretty bad considering that battery acid and everything else was sprayed everywhere. 
So right now, okay, right now, uh, we're gonna look and see if my fix held up. So, right down here, underneath the seat, the battery is in. It stayed in. The pieces I welded on kept it from falling, which I have no idea why they didn't do that to begin with. And you see right here, there's, if you look real close, I don't know if you can, there's a bracket in the back. Why in the world they'd put one there, I do not know. Almost like they put it on wrong. Definitely a poor design. So I am happy to report that it was a huge success. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Take care and God bless.